growing up no one ever told me or made it clear what are the feminine traits and masculine like i'd say that this is something that i've heard just more recently like in the last year or so there was never an emphasis not in my school or household at least but i was a bit conflicted because i kind of see this movement where a lot of women are pushing almost to not to be in touch with your feminine side and to almost like match men's behavior i don't think that's a healthy way to go about this like in a way that the more we embrace our natural self and the more we can build a better relationship and bear in mind that this is coming from someone that i had to work on my feminine trait i realized that because of the pressure that there is in, so in society to almost like equal the other gender and to compete you kind of like need to kill not embrace fully who you are to have a better relationship with myself i embrace my femininity and in this video I'm gonna talk about it. If you're new to this channel, it's Zabri K. I hope you watch the video till the end. Like it. Also subscribe. I know you can. And you would support me and help me a lot. We as women have this incredible power to feel emotions, to express our feelings. Why, why am I hearing more and more this idea of suppressing this? Or even deny that we are more emotional than men i also want to clarify that i think it's good to have a balance between feminine and masculine traits but if you end up having more feminine traits than masculine just naturally the way you are or vice versa and just embrace that why are you forcing the opposite the reason why i say i wasn't in touch with my feminine side that much is when you grow up with a north african background your parents gives you the best like they they push to give you, you know, a stable home. You're not missing anything from food, clothes, education, like that's there. There's an emphasis where you need to deal with your shit. My dad wanted us to be able to be our own individual. And I give props to my dad. I think this is so important when you, when someone helps you to navigate life, but at the same time, they prepare you to what real life is when you become an adult, which is you're going to have to be independent. I kind of took it too far in a way where, yes, being independent is good, but that doesn't mean that you cannot ask for help or you cannot receive help, accept it. I realized how there's going to be things that I don't want to deal with. And it's where my feminine side then can come out. Like, I don't want to be the leader in relationships every time. Like I, I actually don't, I realize that. And I think that's fine. One of the traits that I was leaning to a lot was, which I think it's more masculine, is I've always been very logical and I kind of like never trusted my intuition. This is one of the most beautiful feminine traits. To actually go for your guts, go for what your body is telling you. And most of the time in my life, I haven't. Again, being very independent, being very like, I need to take care of myself. I gone into a route where it was either like that or it couldn't be any anything different. Whereas to embrace yourself, your true self, and to have a better relationship with yourself, you need to allow all of your traits to come out. And in my case, I had to embrace my femininity more. There's things that I needed to do more to feel more feminine, which is like from the simplest, being helpful and just like caring, being a better listener, a better um, presence for people, being more kind. I feel like as a masculine trait is not to be the opposite of kind, but it's just like when you are in your logical mind frame and you don't put emotions or you don't regard your emotions, then you might not end up being kind. And in hindsight, thinking about it, I don't like it. I prefer to be kind. You know, even if my kindness is taken for granted or if someone is not appreciating it, I realized how I don't want to be kind for people to be kind with me. I want to be kind to embrace my femininity, to just like be me and 
I love this about myself. I also think that nowadays being kind is becoming rare. Even when you go online and this movement that I, I keep seeing of women just being angry, I feel like they're shutting down on another one of the most beautiful traits of femininity, just being kind. Like being a woman to me is amazing. Being who I am is amazing. And I feel like the most successful women, they don't shut down who they are. They embrace their femininity, they're patient, they're creative, and they don't hide their feelings. And this is also, it's very like, it's very linked to how you also want to be treated growing up. I saw a balance. I saw a balance between my dad and my mom, like him taking care of everything and my mom taking care of us. And I still stand by that, the thing that that's beautiful. That doesn't mean you cannot be successful. You cannot build a career. You cannot go for your dreams. I, I think, and I'm someone like I'm, I'm a proven example that I love that and I'm, I'm going for that. But at the same time, I think that what my mom represents is beautiful. Remember, like, whenever you think you're shifting your behavior because you've been influenced or you've listened too much to just one side of the story, there's always going to be another side. Sometimes you should silence both of the sides. Almost like quitting social media, quitting the bad energy, the bad influences. Just like focus on what makes you feel you. When you turn off all the noises, when it's dark, who are you? I shut down so many of my feminine traits because I thought, you know, they're not gonna get me so far. But then I didn't have a, a good relationship with myself. I will always say this and point it out, but be wary of the people that wants you to be in a specific way or tell you what to do. I did this YouTube channel because I wanted to share my own journey of self-development, self-growth in my mid-20s, discovering a lot of topics that are not as hyped out there. I bring this with advices, with an openness, but I, I I, never want to push my ideals or I never want to be like, this is the way to become this or to be this or to go against this group or join that. No, this is what I, I'm actually not appreciating of how our society is moving right now, where you almost have to pick. you either against men or pro-men. You're either against woman or pro-woman. We are labeling so much, making groups, so many of them, and creating more division. I keep an open mind, and I think that the best way to go about life in general is building a better relationship with yourself, not allowing yourself to only like stick to one side of what people tell you. Like if someone was gifted with the beauty of more having more feminine traits, then that's, that's amazing. But if you realize that you had to develop more of the masculine because you were forced, that's, I think, that's when you should sit down like I did and understand which one of the traits you actually enjoy and like and they, they are better suited for you instead of like absorbing the one that you were forced to. I hope more people can tune into my YouTube channel and find, you know, the help or the tips that they're looking for and help me grow. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, you hit that bell button because more videos are coming. Thank you for watching this video. Wait.